name sound and then can go to the MBD. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Brian of the NBDB. I'm so happy to welcome all of you for our second My Book, My City. In this webcast, we take readers on a virtual bookshop tour where we feature micro and small bookshops from all over the country to give you a glimpse of their book collections. My Book, My City, just one of the many activities lined up for this year's uh, Philippine International Literary Festival, uh, is it's just one of those activities. No? And we have expanded our exciting virtual activities. So we've got a lot more in store for everyone, including the book club, author and author, and post-pandemic futures. We also have more programs like the Translation Grant, where we are offering 6.8 million uh, worth, worth of grants. The Book Nook, where we provide books to isolated areas and um, the registration service, which we are providing for free until December 31, 2021. And for those who would like to collabor collaborate with us, we also launched the a CGI. CGI is um, civil society organizations, government agencies, and individual accreditation or the accreditation of these uh, entities. For more details, you can visit our Facebook page. Today, we are taking a virtual tour in one of our favorite spots in Baguio City. We will have an exclusive access to the shop selections and collections and know about the shop's challenges during the pandemic and as well as the upcoming gigs at the Mount Cloud or, you know, Empty Cloud. I don't know what's the correct pronunciation. Anyway, we'll ask Felice later. No? It is my great honor to introduce to everyone our tour guide for today's webcast. Today, we have Felice Paris. Okay. So, um, yeah. Feliz, or Fifi, uh, set up Mount Cloud Bookshop with her sister Padma in 2010 and moved it to Yanko Road in 2018. The space in Yanko has quickly grown into a bustling hub with friends and their businesses. Over the past decade, Feliz has been teaching adolescents, working in the bookshop, 
and other family business like Cafe by the Ruins and going to school. Felice used to move back and forth between Metro Manila and Baguio, but due to the pandemic, she has been mostly residing in Metro Manila where she has been teaching online. She keeps track of the bookshop remotely with constant communication with the bookshop staff. Without further ado, let's hear it from Felice. Hi, Felice. How are you? Hi. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm good. I'm here in Baguio. It's a nice, sunny, cool day. Um, and I'm happy to have all of you with us here in the bookshop. Great, great, great. So, uh, you know... Um, Everyone's excited, though they haven't been out of uh, their homes and this virtual bookshop. You know, I think you, you didn't really prepare that much, no? Di kaya tayo naghanda masyado, no? <laughs> so anyway, no. Um, yeah, but maybe you can um, take us around the area, no? Bookshop, and later I'll ask you a few, few uh, some questions. And also, uh, because we're shown, uh, we're we're live, we're showing live on live stream on Facebook and YouTube. You could also ask questions, and uh, I'll read it also to Feliz. Maybe they're also interested to know what, what's new you know, in Mount Cloud. So, Felice, are you there? Okay. Hi. I'm here. My camera is starting. Okay, so welcome to Mount Cloud Bookshop. And um, because it's the pandemic, if you were here physically, we would ask you to fill in your contact tracing information. We have our temperature checker and alcohol here by the door. So, let's see the rest of the shop. Um, we recently just rearranged the shop, as we uh, mentioned on our Facebook page, just a little bit. We moved some shelves around. Um, this big shelf here is actually our most popular shelf. Um, it's what we call Lessons Not Learned. And so that's our history shelf and social science. Um, and then this table in the center, this is what we call our Death by Cutest section where we keep all of our um, notebooks, wow. stickers, pads. Um, this shelf over here is where we have our imagined world. So this is our fiction shelf. Um, one of the most popular shelves also in the shop. And then over here, we have the counter where our staff usually sits while waiting for you. And we have our comics shelf. So that's all our comics. Over here, another popular shelf. And then let me take you into one of our favorite spots in the bookshop, which is the children's room. So uh, children's literature is super, super important to us. We love it so much. And so we built our own room for it with our reading balang over here. Wow. <laughs> Maybe later, Felice, is it okay that uh, you zoom in dun so, sa mga titles if, if it's possible, no? So the people know what you guys sure. have for no? later, yeah. Sure. Yeah. So um, in the children's section, you'll notice all the books are facing out as much as possible because, you know, we like to show off the cover art. We also have some artwork by one of our favorite children's illustrators, Cora uh, Albano. And those prints are for sale, too. Oh. Um, the other section that I haven't shown you is over here. We have our art. Um, so photography, architecture and design, film, and theater. Um, this is a mix of titles, both Philippine and international. Uh, fine art. We have dance, textiles. And then over here, we have science and the environment. And we have our little fish tank over here with the self-help and inspirational and faith section. So you can meditate and take a look at the fish. <laughs> um, <laughs> over here, we have our biography. So life stories, heroes and heroines, quirks, um, and also our multimedia section books about literature. Over here in this case, we have our art supplies. That's um, the smallest store within a store by Art Whale um, PH. And then over here, another very popular shelf is the uh, food shelf. 
where we have all the books on. So that's our tiny bookshop. I'd be happy to tell you more about it. Um, I think Brian and I are going to have a fun conversation. Um, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure you drop us your questions. Ren, say hi. <laughs> hi. Kamusta ka? How are you? All right. All right. let's switch to camera. Yeah, camera two. Okay. Sure. Sorry. This no is the problem. most important section. This is the Cordillera section. So. Oh um, yeah. We of course. Have of books course. about where we are and where we're from. So here I have the Cordillera section. All our books on the Cordillera and um, our poetry section. And also our books in. So there. That, I think, is <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Please, no, um, yeah. Actually, if somebody commented, si Ted Santos, no, my favorite section is the of the bookstore is the lessons not learned. No, sabi niya. Yeah, so that's later, a really popular You can have a look at it later, no? Like, um, yeah, pick up a, yeah, flip some pages and see. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to switch now to, uh, no, to the bigger camera, no, so that uh, you can see everybody. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so to the viewers out there, no. So we're having a virtual bookshop tour of Mount Cloud. Ano ba talaga? Ma empty Cloud, Mount Cloud. Ano ba talaga? Kasi uh, na ko confuse kami. Uh, Wala period, no? Yeah. Kami din. There's not. It's there's no correct way to say Mount Cloud. We like Mount Cloud. We like empty Cloud. It can even be Mountain Cloud. And um, when we were moving spaces, we actually called it empty Cloud, as in walang laman. <laughs> anyway, so maybe we can you know, start with you know the story of your bookshop. So how did it happen? No? Um, could you tell us more? How did you establish your bookshop? Well, the bookshop turns eleven this year, and uh, the story really is uh, my sister Padma and I grew up surrounded by books. Um, we love books, and we love bookstores. Uh, when I was a child. Uh, my mom used to leave me in the bookstore for a couple of hours while she ran errands in town. Uh, Bookmark had a bookshop here on Session Road. And when I was a child, I used to be left there uh, to just read while she had to go to the market or to do some offices. So bookshops have always been uh, very close to our hearts growing up. And even when we travel or anywhere we go, we always make it a point to try and visit a bookshop or see what we can. Uh, of a bookshop. So we thought it was always just this dream in the back of our minds, sometimes a joke actually, where one day when we have a bookshop, this is what we're going to do and this is how we're going to do it differently. Uh, and then in 2010, mm. Casa which is one of the oldest buildings in Baguio City, over 100 years old, uh, opened and there was a space there that looked perfect for a bookshop. And so we thought, this is it. This is the perfect space. And at that time, when we opened, there was no bookshop in Bali that was selling um, brand new books. Most of the books that we had were secondhand, uh, which are great, right? But there were no new books. So we thought, OK, let's do it. Let's let's set up the bookshop. This is, this is our chance. So we set up the bookshop without knowing anything about a bookshop. Uh, what to run, uh, what to do, uh, how to get inventory. So we kind of uh, felt that out throughout the process. Uh, we started with, okay, these are the books, especially the Philippine books that I remember reading. And these are the books I want. So we found the publishers, we wrote to them, and um, they would send us their this catalogs and the books. And so months Months and months while the bookshop was being built, we were looking for these books. And the day before opening, we mm. realized we need a database before we open. <laughs> so we started inputting all the books into the database. And um, there we opened and we were so surprised, but pleasantly so, at uh, the welcome that we got. Um, at that time, we thought it's a university town, but there's no... Um, bookshop other than the university bookshop. So the whole town came out, all our friends, and they came to the opening, and we were like, wow, this is great. But at the same time, we also had naysayers. They're saying, you know, 
this is the rise in 2010. Mm. They, they were, it was the rise of the e-book, di ba? Yep. So everyone's like, physical books, they're out. No one's gonna want no, to read physical books yeah. anymore. There's Kindle, there's um, all these e-readers, and you can have thousands of books at the palm of your hand. But we're still here <laughs> after... 11 years, and, um, we managed, we managed to survive that, so that's Very our story. Uh, we moved here to Yanko Road, to this bigger um, spot in 2018. Um, we felt that Casa Vallejo, even if it was so beautiful and so cozy, was getting kind of small. We wanted to do more things, have more events, and in reality, in the shop in Casa Vallejo, because we started packing it with books more and more, it started fitting less and less people. So maybe 50 Correct. people comfortably, 20 people mm. um, really packed in. And we'd have people on the street and on the sidewalk listening to the event. So we said, we need a bigger space. And so we well, moved to here. And it was too big naman, right? Mm. We were like, okay, the first floor is great for a bookshop. There's a garden for events. <clears throat> but what are we going to do with the rest of the house? No, happy so, problem. It's a happy problem. <laughs> it's a happy problem. But also, we had to make rent. Right? So, um, but we have great friends here in Baguio. So we talked to some people. And then a lot of mm. um, some of them came to us as well. And we're now part of this amazing hub <clears throat> that we like to call the Wanyanko Hub. And in this hub right now, we have a uh, Mount Cal bookshop. We have a bike shop behind Bar's bike, um, bike shop, Baguio. Um, and we have uh, Vivita or Vivi Stop Baguio, which is a creative innovator sort of, um, with, involving STEM for children. Um, and Hot Pat Specialty Coffee, which serves amazing coffee in our garden. And you can bring it up to the bookshop as well. Wow, you know, um, speaking of people earlier, you know, what, sino ba yung kalimitan na customers ninyo? Whenever, you know, like, kasi nga, I know people from Metro Manila, they, sometimes they just drive, no, going to Baguio, and probably one of the worthy stops is Mount Cloud. But, yeah, could you give us an idea of the people who usually go to your bookshop? So, when we opened the bookshop, we had this idea that we were going to be a local bookshop. Locals only were going to support locals. Locals are going to support us. In reality, I think because of our aesthetic and the place where we were, we were in a hotel. Um, for the most part of our existence, our visitors have been tourists or people coming to Baguio. And um, like not people from here. Though we do have amazing support and we really felt that during the pandemic from our local community. But that's something that came a little later on. So when we were in Casa Vallejo, Actually, one of our um, issues was that a lot of people came in to take pictures and not even look at the books. No? So wow. we became that kind of tourist stop where papasok sila, five selfies, da 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 da, lalabas sila. And, we like, and then we'd see the posts online and people would ask, Oi, saan yan? And they wouldn't reply. <laughs> so if you'll notice, maybe you saw while we were doing the tour and like here right now. What we did along is every place where you could have a selfie, we have our name. We have our books up there. We have Branding. our logo wherever we can sinasa sinasa <laughs> Yes, yeah, and, then, and, then. <laughs> and then also we set up this jar, a tip jar, where we said if we could have five pesos for every selfie that we could receive, um, that every selfie taken, How um, we we could buy more books, we could pay for mm. book transportation, fund other stuff, pay our utility bills, and stay out of their bed. But we showed the reality of it's not, it takes more mm. than love to run a bookstore. So could you, you know, um, put it, uh, could you place it closer to the screen so that everybody can see it? No? Yeah. Yes. A good like three so seconds. More so than love to run a bookstore. And, you know, people so give fun. us. Wow, wow. <laughs> People give us it. That's gotten us in trouble though, because nung nasa Casa Vallejo pa kami, somebody mm. broke into the shop mm. and took the jar. Because they had seen, maybe they had seen it a couple of days before with some cash in it. So they broke our window, they came in, 
and they took the jar. But we had just emptied out the jar, and so they got maybe 20 bucks. Um, and we had to repair when they cost so much more. But the funny thing was, when people heard that the bookshop had been broken into, and daming authors na nagtanong, ninakaw ba yung book ko? <laughs> ano sagot mo? Ano sagot mo? <laughs> Sabi ko, uh, wala, wala, walang books na nanakaw, which was good for us, but um, that kind of made it laugh. So I, I think you already answered you know, like what makes you sets you apart no um however no people are curious kasi may mga nagko-comment na ngayon sa sa fees no because uh, okay and daming questions but we'll, guys uh, we'll try to uh, you know put all of their questions so uh, in this time that we have um so far ang tinatanong kasi is what is your best selling book right now no kasi we're talking about book we're heading to the book collections in a bit no but so far ano ba yung best selling book ninyo diyan right now as in, hmm. in the past two weeks it would have to be anything present. Anything. Wow. Yesterday, we had like maybe 11 inquiries in the whole day just asking, do you have dresses? But I can't show it to you physically because uh, we ran out. <laughs> so wow. that we got them. Thank you, everyone. We will restock soon, hopefully. Um, another very popular book is um, this one, which uh, sells a lot. It's Igorota. Which is an what does it mean, yung Igorotak, for the benefit of everyone? No? What does Igorotak mean? I am an Igorot. And it's a, it's beautifully illustrated, no? Um, so with explaining wow. the tattoos, uh, how, how to wear um, a bag. So it even has a diagram of how to put on the bag. So it's very so, interesting. Mm-hmm. And so okay, see then then what yeah, then then was asking now what's the best best selling book again? Right now, then then it's anything about Trese, right? Trese. Yes, wow, yes. okay, it's Trese. Okay, um, you know, about the book collections now, because we're curious now, because you're curating books and you know 80% of your yeah, 80% is Filipina and 20% is foreign. Now, so what is the effect of this kind of you know, setup to your sales? I know, medyo, no, medyo direct, no, but uh, people are curious also. Well, that was actually initially accidental. Um, when we were setting up the bookshop, so we were able to contact all the local publishers and get books from them. And we realized that um, importing books isn't easy. No? Um, so we said, okay, let's focus first on what we have here in the Philippines. And then we realized as we kept getting books through the years that there's so much. There's so many books um, here in the Philippines written by Filipinos, written about the Filipinos, and that the spaces are given in other bookstores are so small. Right? So you have um, an entire bookstore and then you have the Filipiniana section. So as we actually reverse that, now we have the entire bookstore and then we have the non-Filipiniana section. And um, we are told, like, you can't just sell books on the Philippines. But actually, we can um, because, you know, a lot of them don't have that market uh, mm. where, like, so many people come here and they're like, um, I've been looking for this book for years. And the funny thing is the publishers also had that book for years. So when we first opened, uh, an example is we had books by William Henry Scott. Ay, nako. Gusto ko yan. Uh, mm. Yeah, and the thing is, mm. nobody knew where to get William Henry Scott anymore. And we sold the entire back catalog of the publisher of William Henry Scott. Now, our problem is we have no more William Henry Scott because we sold it all. And um, another local publisher here, she had this book called City of Fines, which was about the city of Baguio. Baguio. And she, she had been sitting on that book for maybe 15 years. Wow. So many copies of it. And in about five years, we sold them all. And then, again, our problem is we don't have that book anymore, no? But, um, so there's so many of these books that weren't able to sell, and they were for years just sitting in uh, a bodega or maybe in a gift shop that wasn't focused on books or sometimes even in restaurants. So we were able to find a place um, to sell, uh, build a place 
that could sell those books. Galing, and then, ang galing. Um, you know, we're just happy to be able to to do that and to encourage also people to come out with more books. Um, and especially now that there's self-publishing and print-on-demand, it's great that so many people are able to give us their books and we're able to sell them here. Kelly, I'd like to want to ask a little bit about you know, your book collections. Nyo. Um, is there anything unique, uh, unique books about the Cordillera or the Ilocos that you'd like to to, to showcase or feature? You have um. Yes, I do. Um, well, just arrived actually this week. I have a set of uh, six books by Cordillex, um, which is also in cooperation with the Cordillera, Museo Cordillera. Um, and these six children's books, uh, well, five children's okay. books are... Please, dahan-dahan lang, dahan-dahan dahan lang. Sige, one at a time. Sige, yeah, this one, yeah? All right. About weaving. And um, one of the best things about it is um, it's really our favorite because it's about Philippine craft. And the writers and the illustrators are very local. Like, we know them. Mm -hmm. wow. um, they've been to the bookshop and mm -hmm. uh, they're our friends. And they're really beautiful books. And um, the stories are for children, but mm, so give, they're could very you flip? well yeah. Yon. So, Please, is it okay? Sige, atat lang ako. Could you flip a little lang just to show them what it looks like? No, Because okay, it's my first time to see this. No, And wow. That's beautiful. So, uh -oh. Yeah, the books are for children, uh -oh. but the terms are there. It's well-researched. Um, and... There's even a glossary in the end where it mm -hmm. uses all the different terms. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, uh, so how many books are these and what do you call this collection for the benefit of everyone? Like uh, they're, they're yes, going to go to Mount Cloud. There are five books and we call them the Corditex um, Children's Book. Corditex yeah. Children's Book. So maybe you uh, know later no um if it's okay no could you send us a link no so that for no because I think people are interested especially with the stuff no, nowadays no very timely ganda okay um then, I'm going to uh, no, yes okay, sorry, sorry 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 so from that collection yeah. there's the Alabella Let's Be which is a learning Abel. toolkit and so this one is more technical it really it shows you the designs it shows you mm. the tools and all the terms um but mm. again it's also beautifully illustrated and researched again the feliz it's beautiful yep. actually you know related yung question ko kasi uh, one question came up now will you tell us more about your curation process no sino yung pumipili and you know how do these books get chosen like for example kakilala niyo yung gumawa nito so that's one example but you know how, how do you go about it uh well we're Bias, no joke, lang. Uh, we have a lot of friends that have books, and so first we have the friends of our, uh, we have the books of our friends. But also, um, what the processes we look online. Um, we're very lucky that our staff is very interested in books, also. So they see books and they send them to us, and we discuss. Um, of course, we talk about saleability. Is it something that will sell? Um, we also think about, is it something that's controversial? So, like, there were some books before that uh, didn't want to be... Uh, other bookshops wouldn't carry them at the time because they were controversial, such as... Mm. Um, Which one? This breaks out, Altar of Secrets. Mm. Um, oh, yeah. I have a copy of that. <laughs> yeah, we got that book. Oh, boy, yeah. And um, it was funny mm. because, like, the way we sell books, I'll tell a story in a bit. Uh, inspiration, sorry. Um, and then also, a lot of people come to us and give us samples and ask us, can you sell our book? And we're very open to it most of the time. So we, we rarely reject a book. Um, we like to, you know, give people that space to show their book and to sell their book. Uh, the funny story I was going to tell about Alter Secrets, I remember there was this one time early in the presidency of um, Duterte that he mentioned it in a speech. Mm, and we yeah. were caught yeah. unaware because all of a sudden we had 10 calls a day. Do you have the outer secret? And um, 
We were like, oh no, we only had 10 copies. We sold it out siguro in two days. And uh, that's one of the ways where we're kind of lucky because um, while we work on our marketing, we also have a lot of people out there marketing for us consciously yeah. or unconsciously. So Duterte, obviously unconsciously. I don't think you like a lot of the titles we have in here. But <laughs> um, the, some people will write. Like, mm. One of the ways we got the book, I have a funny story. Somebody wrote an article. Mm about this book about history. And mm. they said that you can find it in Mount Cloud Bookshop. And several people were calling us asking for the book and we didn't have it. And we were wondering who keeps asking, uh, why do people keep asking for this book? So finally, when the third person called, we said, um, where did you get the information that the book is available at Mount Cloud? And they said, oh, I read an article in the Inquirer. So we researched, we read the article, we contacted the publisher, and after two weeks, we did have the book in the bookshop. <laughs> but we hadn't <laughs> known about the book. It was only when the uh, writer wrote that article and said it was available in Mount Lux Bookshop. Uh, another story about acquiring books uh, that I remember is there was this one time I was watching the shop, and this older man came in, uh, maybe in his 70s or 80s. And he kept going through the Cordillera shelf, like really looking through it. And so for a long time, so I finally asked him, I said, sure, can I help you? Is there a particular title that you're looking for? And he said, yeah, uh, I saw it here the last time I was here. Um, it's called Cordillera Tales. And it was a book on Cordillera folk tales. And I looked up in our database, and we didn't have it, and we had never had it. And so I looked at it up online, and mm. there was a picture of the cover. And I showed it to him. I said, sir, is this the book that you're looking for? And he said, yeah, that's the book that I'm looking for. And I said, uh, we've never had it in the shop. He said, no, I swear, I saw it here when I was here last week. <laughs> I said, uh, okay, I can get it for you, though. I said, I can order it. You know, the, pub um, the publisher is one of our suppliers. So he said, okay, can you please get it for me? But I'm leaving for... Um, the U.S. in a week, so if you could get it to me before then, and he left his contact number. So we got the book, and then we couldn't contact him anymore. Oh. He just disappeared. But we got the book, and we sold lots of those, uh, we sold a lot of the title until it sold out, and we bought it. Cordillera Tales. From the so that's one of those things, na, that's how it happens in Cloud a lot of the time. Anyway, you know, um, you know, lots of questions here. No, uh, don't worry, guys. No, we will be, you know, later. No, um, gusto ko kasi akitin yung audience about the books that you have. Is it okay that we make a stop? No, ikutin lang natin yung mga shelves yan. Pick up something that you think uh, people will like, and you know, just flip the the book. No, and just show, you know, like a, just a preview lang of what you guys have. No, um, maybe later. No, but let's just continue this because people are also curious about um. The activities that uh, you've been in doing, no? Um, because, for example, uh, what 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 kind of activities do you guys uh, do, no? To to engage people, uh, your community especially. Well, uh, prior to the pandemic, we had this one event called um, Third Monday from the Sun, which was our community open mic, and the purpose of the community open mic was really to get people into the shop and familiar with the books and comfortable in the shop. So we've been running that now maybe for nine, almost 10 years uh, of every third Monday of the month, we have an open mic. And when we had to shut down for the pandemic, that's the one thing that we decided to continue. You know? So we did a uh, third Monday from the sun uh, online uh, every every month and so sometimes we have as many as 20 people sometimes only two people would come but we'd still hold it we'd go with three um and mm. do um open mic and then other than that another thing that we like to do is live readings um so we'd have uh, our friends actors uh or even just writers come into the shop and read books you know? so one of our 
uh, favorite events, which we were able to transition to online, was May Day Eve. So every, yes, I uh, was last there. Day of April. <laughs> oh, it was yeah. beautiful. Yes. Oh, mm-hmm. um, and then we have author talks. We have authors who come to visit us um, and to talk about their book. And because we're in such a small setting, it's less formal. No? It's not somebody gives hmm. a speech and then the author gives yeah. a speech. And yeah. then that's it. But it turns more into relax. more of a question and answer where um, the audience is able to ask writers about their writing process, about what it takes to get published. And um, it's interesting because some, some of them turn into um, work writing workshops even where the writers start coaching um, the audience on their work. And there are some interesting projects that are built from that. Um, another event that we love mm. to do is um, children's books readings. In fact, uh, this month, we have a children's book reading with Miss Kiki. Miss Kiki, hello. Hi, Miss Kiki. So, <laughs> so Miss Kiki, is going. To, we're going to do Pride Story Time um, for Hi, Ms. Kiki. this month um, on Friday, yes. June 25. So the book that uh, Miss Kiki is holding right now is... Um, um, Maybe she can, uh, she can come forward no? so that uh, Miss Kiki, could you please come forward so that everybody can see you? Yeah. Could you please come closer pa, so that you can see the. Uh, yeah, hi. Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you, Miss Kiki. <laughs> so this Thank is you, the book, Kiki. Dalawa, Dalawa Ang Daddy Ng Dilim, uh, from Tahanan. So we figured wow, it's a Pride book Month, eh? because mm. it's Pride Month and it's also mm. Father's Day. So the long mm. daddy is from Father's Day. <laughs> okay. Ma'am, um, kasi ito, ah, madaming sabi kasi to, to see your book collections. And I know we already did a walk around. But I think people are still, is it okay that we also try to walk again and have a look at the books? Sure. Because uh, they're very interested. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Like special um, request. Is it okay we switch to camera one? Is it okay? Okay lang ba? Sure. But um, I'll start here. I'm in front of the Cordillera section. We can switch to camera one. Sige. I'm going to move now. Ah. Okay. Hi. So, okay. So, hi. everybody. Cordillera section. Mm-hmm. And that's camera two. Okay. Over there. Um, hi. We look closely. This is Ely um, by Tommy Hafaria. This uh, book here it has very beautiful books about the Cordillera uh, and uh, very beautiful photos. And this yeah. one on this side here is actually the platinum version of that book because it includes platinum. a special silver gelatin print by the photographer. So that one is one of our special books. Uh, in the middle here, we have Sabaya, which is um, Philippine uh, lime containers or for chewing um, mm, from the collection mm. of, yes, from the collection of Ben Cab, and which are now actually on display at the Ben Cab Museum. Ganda. Um, here, so we have some books about the Ibaloy, um, the Sanfinai. The History Thanks of La Trinidad and the Cordillera. Uh, Dean Worcester's Fantasy Island. Yeah, I'm gusto ko mabibig. Yeah. Published here by um, the UP Cordillera Studies Center. And then, of course, we have our collection of Pink Kanina, no? Kaligrafi and Baguio, the Baguio we know. Um, we have a book about 
Ukai Ukai Upland Ecology. And this one here, Naranyag Amasakbayan, is very new. It just launched last month. And it's a coloring book that, and which also features some songs written about the Cordillera or uh, for the Cordillera. So for example, this one is a Kankanai folk song. And it has English translation as well and coloring. Beautiful. It's great. Um, another interesting book is Feast of Merit, which was published by the um, Cordillera. Agabiana. Museo mm. Cordillera. And so this is actually based on mm. an exhibit that they did. Uh, okay, lang ba na, um, siguro you're holding two things at a time, no? It would be nice if you just can sorry. open lang kasi ako, I want to browse it. Damn, I want to browse it. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Selfish reason, anyway, selfish sorry, reason. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Thank you, ah. Yeah, and let's... Uh, Photos uh, and uh, essays by some of um, ko, yeah. the Cordillera's most important um, anthropologists and social scientists. Beautiful. It's a beautiful, oh, sige. A beautiful book. Sige, I will look for that when I visit. Okay. You can also sige. order online, actually. Order. We now ship books. <laughs> sige, I'll be um, flashing on the screen no? um, how to order from you guys. Um, the number is here. Yeah. So this is Kiss our poetry thought. section. Um, we have a lot of poetry. Now, one of the things that was always said to me when we opened the mm. book is poetry okay. doesn't sell. And that always surprises me. Um, and like even Renz, when he just said that, now looked at me like, what? Because poetry sells. Um, in fact, one of the things that I love about the poetry mm. section is nice. people that buy poetry, they're the ones that approach the counter hugging the books. You know? and like, I've been looking for this for the longest time, or I really love the words of this poet. And so, I don't know, don't listen when people say that poetry doesn't sell. People love so poetry. poetry. We sells. love poetry. <laughs> and then we have the Ilocano section here. So these books are all written in Ilocano. Other than Filipiniana, because one of the things that we try to do is feature books of... Um, Regional languages, no? Different regional languages, not just yeah. Filipino English. And there are so many out there, even children's books. Uh, um, mabalik lang ako sa tanong mo uh, sa tanong lang uh, may isang question lang oh. kasi um, what do you do with inventory I mean nakaka, may, may, may bodega ba kayo to, to keep kung sakali hindi yes. bumibenta yung libro great question but we have almost everything that we have in the bookshop on our shelf so yun yun what you see is what you get each, huh? yeah we have a small stock room. but when we tell you it's out it's really out of stock and sometimes out of print forever. So this is the lessons not learned. <laughs> Nako, may nagsabi na our... isang ano natin, viewer. One of their favorite parts daw. Okay, lessons yes. not learned. Um, so we've actually kind of split the lessons not learned a little bit because we get a lot of questions about results. And we have an entire shelf of Jose Rizal. We also mm -hmm. get, well, and then we have the shelf um, which is very close to our hearts, which is Never Again. And that's where we usually put all of our books um, that have to do with martial law and fascism. So one time we had a reading that we called uh, martial law readings. Where we, had, we just collected all of the books that we had on martial law and put them in the middle of the floor in the bookshop and anybody was free to pick up a book and read from it. So, we read about accounts of martial law. We even borrowed a book by um, we even borrowed a book by Marcos so that we could see how his view was different. And mm. we even had um, political survivors of political um, imprisonment there to mm. talk to us and to let us know about what happened. Wow. So my band at all. Wow. Ganda na pagkakapan mo, uh, ah. hindi ka talaga naghanda. Ah. It's so nice. It's like me, <laughs> one awesome. of the most popular books is this one, Barangay by William yes. Hay. 
one of the only William Henry Scott that's still in print. Um, and sometimes we sell uh, 20 in one week because so many people are. That's a very good book. That's a very good book. It's a very good book. Um, another thing that we have so this is our short stories section. Um, but we also have some novels mixed in. So this is a very popular section as well. Um, and then here we have our fiction shelf. So one of our favorite fiction mm. books. Um, we won't talk. Authors, yes. Yeah. Candy Gurley was the first yes. author to come and speak here in the bookshop when we moved to um, Yanko. So Bone Talk is wow. a really great book. Um, another yes, one, so. a regular to come speak to us and launch here in the bookshop is Jessica Zafra. She also... Yeah, we have a she also, hey, you did a book club of this, right? Actually, we, we have an ongoing book club. Na, eh. Thank you for, for yeah. Uh, yeah, we have a, we need to plug now. Tomorrow, kasi we have, it's the second session of The Age of Umbridge. No? So, yeah, we're going, we're talking about mm -hmm. Jessica Zappa's first novel. Yeah. So, yeah. actually, I know, trivia lang, Jessica Zafra read before that book was published, when we were mm. still in Casa Vallejo, she came and she mm. read as an excerpt while it was still a work in progress. So, we had a Special, I know. Max. Special Max. viewing of that book. Yeah. Okay. Um. This is the comic section. So it's just a, it's just a pinahama billing section. A billing ayon, uh, na. Mm. Yeah. But even prior to Tresen, uh, like uh, this book by Edgar mm. Samar, um, is super popular even when before it was reprinted. Um, of course, Kiko Machine, right? Uh, Manix, Manix is Sabrera. very mm -hmm. special to us because he always launches here and he mm -hmm. always includes Mount Cloud Bookshop in his books. Actually, he writes comic strips about us and sends them to us <laughs> after reading them. Yeah. Special um, mention kay palagi. Mm. Personal favorite, Dead Balagtas. Everybody oh. needs to read that. Imaliana Kampilan, yeah, it's very good. Yep. And kay Carl Vergara, um, kay Arnold Dare. Oh, wow. Yep. Yeah, guys. This is an we just reordered mythology class it's coming soon. And then this one is an old out of print book, but super special to us. Aswang Inquiry by Frank mm. Lynch, um, and illustrated by Hilda Cordero. And so, Malang at Nawal. <laughs> okay, so let's go into the children's room. So, while we're headed there, this artwork is actually original artwork from one of the children's books that we have um, in the shelf. Uh, and one that I'd like to talk about later. Sure, sure. You have time, no? We have time. Yeah, we have, we are no, we have no nowhere else to go, uh, Felice. No, yeah, take it away. It's fine. <laughs> so our reading Tikbalang came with us um, from Casa Vallejo, as with most of our shelves. Um, so um, are Felice, our... question. Uh, sorry to interrupt you, no, because somebody asked me. Uh, who this? Who designed your bookshop? Um, because it's really, uh, I don't know. It's it's very welcoming. Um. You know, I'd like to spend that my, my time longer here. Kung ganun, kasi, kasi yung una rin, it's very charming, it's very cozy. But it is I think it's obviously it's bigger, yeah. but um it's very welcoming. Uh, how how were you how were you able to pull it off? Now do you have a designer? Uh no. That was just me and my sister saying we want it to look like this. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm and that. we work with um, an architect. So let's go through some of the shelves. Um mm. and we have this section. So um the children's room is really a miniature version of the rest of the bookshop. So we still have a Cordillera section. These are our Cordillera mm -hmm. children's books. And we mm -hmm. have our regional stories. So we have books in Hiligaynon, in Ivatan, in Cebuano, mm -hmm. in Shabacano, um, in... Kalanguya. This is the book that I was talking about with the original art. It was actually by my sister, Padma. 
Wow. It is in Kalanguya and English. And it's a story about um, traditions and how young people can also be part of tradition. And so just like outside, we have a martial law hero section over here, which talks mm. about um, people that we should have to that fought against martial law. We have Lino Broca, we have um, this is a hard about a um, child whose mother was a political prisoner. She would go to mother during martial law. It's beautifully illustrated and very beautifully written. Um, and then we have our heroes, of course. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have our alamat. So the classic Philippine stories and folk tales. So remember when I told you I, we started with the books that we remember reading. So this was one I'm of the favorite books. That yeah. Yeah, I'm a good band. So we looked for the publisher and we found it. And then over here we have um, we also have books for parents. And but yes, these are some of our young books for young readers. Um, but like well, books for young Alin Jin, young Alin Jin ma, sorry to interrupt, Felisa. Ano din yung um, what's what's hot right now? No, so young authors or young books because um, um yeah, books for young people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, I'm gonna put you down so I can reach for it. Yeah, um, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Janice you guys okay. should check this out. Uh, so we have yeah, all Janice four Yang. books of Janice Lang in case you are looking. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you, and thank you. And we also have, there is Jose Rizal manga, but I can't find it on the shelf right now. But that's Yeah, I, I, I read that, yeah. Two parts, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's two parts and nothing. Yeah, it's nice. So we have our board books for super young readers. And lap book. Uh, this is one of our favorites. Also, Ako Ang Bayan, illustrated by Manix. Um, Manix Cabrera and mm. written by And it talks about um, how the voice of the youth matters. Um, and then we have books about science and the environment for children. So we want kids to know about what's going on in the Philippines and how they can help, help what they can do. Mm -hmm. okay. So the children's section is really built to be a miniature bookstore in itself, but also to be cozy. Um, this is the place in the shop where we have lots of places to sit, pillows for the kids to hang out in. Um, and all our books are facing forward so that you can see the cover art. Naka plastic ba yung mga books so, niyo or no? Um, it's it's open for everyone to just browse and ano. See ba mga books? We are stuff, firm. Ano? We are firm believers in getting to know your book before taking it home. Uh, Box. Same with people. <laughs> same with people. Uh, so we have the most joke lang, guys. Uh, joke lang. Oh. No. <laughs> most of the books are wrapped in plastic. Um, to protect them from dust, but we encourage people to um, really browse. Uh, especially before in Castle Vallejo, we'd have people that would really come to just read, and we don't mind. Mm. Like, you're Are welcome to in? just read if you want to just read. Yeah. Mm. Um, because it also provides access to. Ito yung mga mamahalin ng libro, Felisa, mga coffee table books yeah. about photography. The art no? section. So, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it now, but we have yeah, 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 yeah. book subscription and um, mm. which we, the staff, choose books for um, you and you get a surprise some um, once a month. And mm. one of the things that we had to do for the book subscription is not allow any books from the art section. Kasi hindi kaya ng budget. <laughs> if you want to book from the art section, we can't choose it for you. You have to come here and choose it. <laughs> Alam mo, every time you pick up a book, somebody's already asking how much or where. So, 
uh, all of these not books. Naman. Selling, but... <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, maybe... Uh, yeah, itong, uh, yeah, uh, Danilo Benuez, ano, uh, sorry, we cannot answer the question, but you can call or send your inquiries to sa, ano, sa email address sila. We're flashing it in the bottom part of the screen. Yeah, yeah we're also very responsive on Facebook and Instagram, so you can send mm-hmm. us a message there. Kapapakita um, ko yung Instagram after. ninyo. Uh, Instagram. In fact, we have most, if not all, of our books, we have pictures that in our Facebook albums of the books that are available. So you can look through that, and it will be practically like browsing. In the so book. Facebook, bale. Um, okay, for the benefit of everybody, ang pinaka updated talaga if they want to see a listing of your books is on Facebook, correct? Yes. Kasi may nagtatanong, um, we do you have a month? Hmm. Sorry, sorry. Apa. We did it. We did it in photos. So it's really hard. We have over. Hmm. 4,000 titles in the shop. So listing these books down and keeping track of stock is something that we're yeah, still uh, getting used to. So this is si Ma'am Baveth Lolar, guys, asking, like, monthly list of what's new in the shop. Do you have something like that? Like a monthly listing? So that, uh, yeah. No, but are. we do post regularly on what just arrived. Hmm. Just check on Facebook. So, is there any Sorry. section you'd like to look into? We're currently okay. in biographies. Mm-hmm. biographies. Kulang na lang, maamoy namin. Ano eh, um, Felice eh. Kasi we really miss uh, you know, going to these spaces. Um, maybe yeah. you know, we can switch to camera too, no? so that we can ask, you know, because we all we are interested about what's happening ngayon, no? because of the pandemic you mentioned earlier. And mm-hmm. we'd like to know what's up with you guys. Kamo sa nakayo and how are, how's business and you know you personally how how are you? No? Like uh, yeah, how are things going? Now? I'll just switch to yeah um, camera two now. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> Jaga. Oops. Yan yeah. hi yan. Yeah. Right. So. Okay lang pa siya nakatayo or you want to sit down you're fine. Yeah, you're fine. No, kanina ka pa nakatayo. No, I'm fine. Eh. You're fine. Uh, no right. problem. So, yeah, um you know, my question lang about your operating hours, no, um before and during the pandemic. I, I'm sure it's a very big change. Like how was it? Um well, let's see. When we used to be open when we were in Casa Vallejo until 8 p.m. And then after we moved here to um, Yanko, since there's no restaurant beside us, actually there's nothing beside us, it's a residential and school area, we started closing at 6 p.m. And then when the pandemic hit, we stayed closed for three months, right? For three months, because we didn't know. Um, we weren't allowed to open, and um, we didn't know how things were going to go, so we stayed closed for three months. And then we slowly started opening, first two days a week, and then three days a week, and half day lang, so from 10.30 to 1 o'clock, and then uh, longer and longer. So now we're open from 10.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day. Mm. And um, I'll be a bit direct with my question, uh, but how, how, how are sales no? Like uh, before, and, uh, before and during the pandemic? Kumusta kayo? You don't have to give the exact figures, huh? Yeah, no. <laughs> we're struggling a little bit. Um, yeah, okay. When... Of course, we had those couple of months that there was zero sales, no? Mm. We were just quiet and um, bleeding out. <laughs> but um, when we opened in July, we said, okay, let's do online sales. And that's not something that we had ever really done before. Before, I say, we were so busy running the shop, keeping track of what was in the shop, of people that were in the shop. We're mm. a really small team. Um, all in all, there's at the most five of us. At the least, mm-hmm. there's been three or two. Three. So, um, every team member has a lot to do. So prior to the pandemic, we didn't really do a lot of online sales. Um, pa isa isa, you know, somebody would beg from General Santos, can you please send me this? And so we would. But when the pandemic started, we said, okay, we have to. Um, turn this around because nobody's going to come to the shop. And the first month of online sales was great. We we did really well. 
on the first month, month and a half. And then everybody started going online also. The publishers, the authors, the illustrators. So it found it's great that everyone mm. is buying books. I think mm. any book buying is good book buying, right? But we <laughs> It's a little of a struggle for us. One of the advantages that we have, though, is that we have books from a lot of authors and a lot of publishers and a lot of illustrators. So if you're not looking to just buy one book, if you're looking to buy like several authors, I mean, we they, they come to us. And so that's, that's one of our advantages. Um, and we're slowly working on finding better ways to sell books. But uh, it, it's, it's a process. It's trial and error. <laughs> we'll see which which courier works best with us. Like people have been asking us to send books internationally for the long time. Mm. Yeah. And one of our yeah. issues is okay, sure, we can do it. It's not that hard for us. But let's say they want two children's books and each children's book costs one hundred pesos. So okay, that's two children's books. 200 pesos and 200 then we pesos. go to the post office and they're like shipping is one five. <laughs> oh my like, god oh. Okay. sorry uh, for oh. the value of 200 do you really want these books but there are people that say yeah send it anyway and so we've shipped books to Mexico um, Thailand uh, Japan uh, United States Canada and we're slowly trying to work on how to make that better and how to get that. Especially Cordillera books. Um, I have to say, those are the books that sell the best abroad. People are always looking for um, books about the Cordillera. I guess yeah. those are the yeah. girls that are in the diaspora and they want to. They miss home. Um, yeah. They miss home and they also want to mm-hmm. um, continue their tradition. So having these books are a good resource. You know, um, it's really good that know uh, you brought that up. But uh, I think you know, Felice, you guys have a huge following online, no? And ano lang, um, just just a very side side note lang. Uh, there are like uh, you know, like for example, in this chat alone, in this uh, you know, the response of the people watching, they they really you know miss going to Mount Cloud. So you you know, you have that assurance that people will be coming back. When things are okay. Um. By the way, no. Ano na ba yung status of the quarantine there? Um. Are you accepting visitors already? Um. How does it work now? Um. Well, I came up for this talk because uh, I'm most of the time I'm based in Manila, and the trip itself it takes it takes about five hours, maybe even less if you drive faster. And then there's a triage. If you're a visitor, you need to um go on the Visita Baguio website. Um, and register and get a QR code. They do still require antigen testing, so you can either get tested prior to coming up and show your papers when you arrive, or get tested here. And um, they, you have to go through a triage where they check if you're registered online, and they check your results and where you're staying so that they can easily track you. And But most businesses are open already mm. and welcoming visitors. And about sa Mount Cloud, how many people are you admitting there? And if there's there are like uh, visitors now, um, we have I think a five ten at a time or less. Um, people that have to be social distance, wearing their masks, of course, mm. uh, and sanitizing their hands um, before touching any of the books. Um, yeah, and then we have a one hour limit in the shop. And then, sorry, we have to kick you out to let the others in. But if there's yeah. nobody naman waiting outside, you're welcome to stay. Stay longer, no? Yeah. yeah I mean, if there's others waiting naman, you can go down, have a coffee and hot cat for a while, check out some bike parts, or look at Vita, and then come back. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Speaking of hot cat, hindi natin pwedeng ibaba talaga yung ano, no? Hindi kaya ng wifi ninyo to, to, to show around, no? It's hard, no? No, hindi kaya. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But we have pictures online of the hot cat. It's really nice because you can sit in our garden while sipping their amazing coffee and hot drinks, and they have snacks as well. So it's nice. A lot of people, what they do is they come up here and they buy a book, and then they go down and buy a coffee, and they sit in the garden. And drink. Another thing wow. also mm. is uh, when authors and illustrators come to visit us, or editors, or 
Basta, your name is on the book. Uh, we will buy you a coffee at Hot Cat or a snack or a drink. <laughs> Um, so if you are an author and illustrator, you look through our shelves and you find your book, the counter. Totoo yan, ha? Totoo yan, ha? Totoo yan! Sige, ha? Totoo okay, yan. Sige. Um, okay, okay. recorded at around this time, uh, before 5, it's 5.03, yeah? So guys, uh, narinig niya, if you're an author, an illustrator, you now you watch this show, you, you know, you look for Feliz. No? Yeah. <laughs> we, we even have a sign by the counter. Uh, Meron okay. talaga, seryoso. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Can you, yeah. yeah. Nako, sorry, pinabuhat ko pa sa yung laptop mo. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, so yeah, seriously, yeah. Speaking of authors or illustrators, sino yung madalas nakikita mo dyan before the pandemic? Like, who, who, sige nga, mag-name drop. Okay lang ba mag-name drop? Name dropping na ba? Siyempre si Manny Cabrera is always here. Si Manny, sige. Yeah, who else do we have? That comes to visit often, Russell Molina is He's been here to New York. Regular, ah, mga regular. Yeah, who else? So yung mga stalkers nila yan, bukod na dito. Sorry guys, sorry. Casa Vallejo, when we used to, we used to, when the UP workshop used to come up here, siempre all the big guns would be here. Yeah, Kuya Ama, Pantoja Hidalgo, they'd all be here. It would be fun. Doon kami super signing, pero... Also, super bad coffee for it. Pagod, pagod yan, no? Yeah. I think it's hard to name. No, 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 no. Sorry to putting you on the spot, ha. I'm just interested to know, no? Because, yeah, I mean, yeah. Sometimes they drop their book off. Tapos, ano, papadalas na yung picture na. Ay, nako. I know, we can't wait to visit you guys there, ha. Um... Yeah, no, it's almost an, I don't like, yeah, we're, we're running, well, we're already over time, no? And there's still, like, 70 people still watching, still holding on, because I think, Felice, is it okay another, isa na lang, like, one last look lang before we end? Okay lang ba? Wait, can I answer this question? It's a really nice question. Oh, sige, sige, may more question. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, question. Any more questions? How does the community at One Yanko support the bookshop and vice versa? Yeah. So, hi. So, Hi. That's a really good question. Um, we support each other by bringing people in for each other. No? So um, actually, tr to be truthful, sometimes the bookshop is the most quiet here. Because mm. we're busy, the bike shop's super mm. busy, especially during the mm. pandemic. No? Um, and the, um, the coffee shop is super busy all the time. And we're grateful for that because even if we're quiet, there's always somebody that will come up from the coffee shop to take a look at the bookshop, right? From the bike shop or or vice versa. People that have come come here for Mount Cloud, they will go have a coffee or we'll invite them to visit Vivita or the, book, the bike shop. So there's that um, community. And then we also do events together. Um, and we will continue to do these events together. So when we're doing new events. Do you have a staging Dito. area there? Dito, uh, well, we do it in the shop. We also have hmm. a really big garden. I wish I could show you, but um, I, can't, when we I can't do it live. I can't do it live, but check out our Facebook hmm. page, uh, Instagram. We're always posting pictures of the garden. Um, and we have other members of the hub also. We have uh, Solana and Rain, our horse guest, who sometimes lives in our garden, sometimes have a horse there. And sometimes we allow feeding. Um, hmm. Kids can come and feed the horse hmm. and brush him. And maybe ride around sometimes. So it, it's a really great community. Other than supporting each other by sending people our way, we're also just really good friends. So there's VV Stop Baguio, there's Hot Cat mm -hmm. Coffee Shop, and Behind Bar. So these are the three uh, places that the people can visit aside from Mount Cloud. Oh, yes. Yeah. For next time, yeah, when when things are okay now, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, we're we're about to to wrap up, no. Um, however, no, let's just go through the questions before to make sure, no, because people, you know, have been waiting for this. They're asking the like, questions about, you know, Mount Mount Cloud. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, just making sure that we got everything covered, no. Right. What are you doing to promote your books now that people are physically hampered by the pandemic from physically going there? Do you have listings of books that you said? 
online events. Okay. Our books are listed on Facebook. Um, if you don't have a Facebook, you can still go to our Facebook page because it's public. So even if you don't have Facebook, go to the Facebook page and then send us an email or call us. Right. So very responsive. Kamusta pala ang GHRO relations officer? So may GRO, may GHRO. Si Anna Gamboa is asking. No? Anyway. Sorry, it's a joke now. Anyway. Okay. So I think, you know, uh, <laughs> all right. So I think we can wrap up, you know, our our small tour of this, you know, Mount, of this bookshop. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, was this Feliz? Do you have any message or anything that you wish to promote? What you guys up to? Um, yeah, tell us what. Yeah, what, what what's what's in store for, for 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 those who will be visiting you guys soon. Well, for this month um, online, uh, I'd like to invite you all to join us this coming Monday. Actually, for third Monday from the sun, um, we post a Zoom. Uh, we post a poster and a Zoom link, and you. Everyone is welcome to join the Zoom link. All you just have to send us a message and we will send you the link. We don't broadcast live because um, Third Monday is a safe space. So there is some stuff that we don't want the whole world to know. Though we hmm. do record it and some of those performances we will be posting um, later on for those that are interested in having their performance um, out. So when we say open mic, it's open mic. You can sing you can um, dance, you can recite poetry. We've had people do PowerPoint presentations about their work. Um, and we've had so many interesting people and of different ages and professions and nationalities. So anyone is welcome to join us for Third Money from the Sun. And then on June 25, I'm sorry, we changed the date. Um, it says- Oh, June 25 now. Year, okay, I'll June just change it now. June 25, Friday, we're going to be having Pride Storytelling with Miss Kiki Crunch reading Ang uh, Dalawa Ang Daddy Ni Billy for Pride, and, Pride Month and Father's Day. And that's something that we also hope to do monthly. So that's what we have for this month. The shop is open from 10.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily. Um, just make sure you're wearing your mask and are following our city's protocols, uh, safety protocols. And books are available online. So again, please visit our Facebook page. Uh, you can click uh, photos and then albums. And everything's there by shelf. So there's a Lessons Not Learned shelf. There's a Kiss My Poet shelf. All our shelves are on there. Almost all our books are on there. And you just send a message of the titles of the books you're interested in. And one of our staff will respond to you. Um, right. What else? I think that's it. Please come visit us. Um, in Baguio, we miss having people in the shop. Um, and we're very grateful when people do come by. But also, please buy books on the That's the best way. As we always say, it takes more than love to run a bookshop, but the best way to keep a bookshop is to buy books. So please buy books. True, true. Correct. All right. So um, thank you very much, Feliz. It was a pleasure and a great learning experience to have listened to you. We hope that our participants enjoy this virtual bookshop. There are a lot of titles that definitely deserve more readers. I want to personally urge everyone to support our local bookshops by buying the work of our local authors. Yes. So anyway, that concludes our My Book, My City webcast. Um, thank you again for, uh, yeah, for, 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 for watching. And ako naman, magpa-plug ako para sa amin, please, na. Yeah. Kasi tomorrow, now, uh, we will be having this um, author-on-author webcast with uh, Ambeto Campo and uh, David Guerrero. And then June 19, we will be having the book club session no? um, featuring The Age of Umbridge by Jessica Zafra. And then June 25, we have a webcast. Um, the, the topic is Reclaiming Our Narrative, no? Inclusivity and Decolonization featuring Felipe De Leon Jr. and... Um, Marian Pastor Roses. So yeah, um, bayan tatlong camera natin. <laughs> Love is Miss Kiki. All right, so guys, no, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, we'll be seeing you again. Um, in our next My Book My City. 
And uh, stay safe, uh, keep well, and we will be seeing you soon. Huh? Alam na tayo. Bye! Thank Bye, guys! Thank you to the NDBD for inviting me um, and for having Mount Cloud Bookshop. It's an honor to be here. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Brian. Thank you, Felice. <laughs> You've been wonderful. Thank you. I'll be visiting you. Thank Ingat you. kayo, ha? Yeah, see you soon. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Bye.